Hey YouTube, this is Edgar Brown back with another video and just want to say I missed you guys. Um, I miss making videos. Uh, you guys are gonna love this video, especially to uh, short men who are having or shorter men who are having a hard time um, getting dates. And the name of this video is called Weight versus Height um, Double Standard. Now, the thing is, I would like to state that uh, this seems to be a double standard concerning weight versus height. Okay, it's like if a um, woman was to discriminate a man based on his height, you know, she gets praised for it. If a man discriminates against a woman based on her weight, he gets demonized for it. And my thing is, though, at the end of the day, everyone's preferences should be respected. And I hate to play devil's advocate for, um, you know, the, the shorter men or short men that understand that, you know, the world does not owe you anything. Okay. These women out here are not obligated to give you a date. So if she says that she, you know, you're not tall enough for her standards then you got to honor in respect to preference but at the same time she can't get upset if a man based his um preference on on weight okay because at the end of the day i wouldn't personally you know what i'm saying i've dated all sizes of women uh skinny fat thick tall short whatever you want to call it um i wouldn't want to be with a woman who's bigger than me and i think that would turn a lot of men off okay because at the end of the day, a man is supposed to be, uh, uh, be the one either taller or bigger than a woman or both. Okay, so it is a huge turn off if a woman, you know, is bigger than you. I told this one woman if I was dating her that if she ever, ever grown up to, uh, to 600 pounds, if she went up to 600 pounds, I would absolutely leave her because that is too big. Um, being that big can make sex you know very very difficult okay and you can only do certain positions doggy style or you know or doing a cowgirl many any other positions like spooning and getting on top of the woman could be very impossible if there's a lot of fat in the way so that's usually you know um good reasons for me not to mess with a woman that is much bigger than myself but the thing is you know, um, there has been, you know, a lot of um, hypocrisy or double standards when it comes to height versus weight. The thing is, um, people would say, especially women would say, well, you know, height is something that you can never change. But weight, a woman can always lose weight. And the fact is, I, I do agree. But at the same time, there shouldn't be a double standard. I think that preferences should be respected. Okay, that's like a, a black woman saying she doesn't date white men, but yet white men get in their feelings and call her a racist. At the end of the day, it's all about preference. Same thing with a black man doing vice versa with white women. You know, it's like a white woman calling a black man racist for not dating a white woman. You know, and, and I noticed that too. Uh, not all, but some Caucasians would say, well, especially Caucasian men would say, well, you know, you're just limiting yourself if you're just sticking to your own race. At the end of the day, most black people and, and other races prefer to be with their own kind. I don't see nothing wrong with that. So the same thing applies to certain women, you know, one in taller men. Um, is it is it shallow that she wants, you know, a man that's much, much taller than her? Um, it depends because like I discussed in my um, height does matter videos that the average height in America is um, five foot nine and most men are shorter than that actually so if she is based on her uh, interest or height then yeah she is being hella shallow because tall men only represent 14 percent of the population in America and the overall height around the world is five foot seven. So um, I I hate to play devil's advocate against the women having um, a preference for height, but yes, they are being shallow. Uh, but is it necessarily a bad thing? 
No, because men, if you want to go that far, are shallow when it comes to a woman's weight. But at the end of the day, you know, it's it's all about preference. Me, personally, I don't like to talk about myself too much. I prefer a woman who is fit or thick and curvy, you know. I don't want to be with a woman who is morbidly obese, you know what I'm saying? And that's just, that's just me. So if some woman out there calls me um, shallow for wanting a woman who is in, in great shape or whatever, because I'm in pretty damn good shape myself, I work out uh, on a weekly basis, and I would expect a woman uh, to, to, you know, to be the same, then, you know, that's, that's their problem. You know, I, I feel that, um, I think it's only fair that a man wants a, a fit woman, especially if, let's say, down the road he wants, you know, to start a family and he wants children, then I, I think it would be in his best interest to find a woman who is um, who is absolutely in good shape, who is fit. You know, because if you know the more fit and more healthy a woman is, the stronger the offspring will be. But the thing is, as far as height versus weight, um, double standards. Um, that, like I said, there's definitely a double standard though, because it's like if a man turns around, if a woman asks a man how tall t tall he is. You know, she'll think it's it. You know, it's no big deal. Let a man ask a woman how much does she weigh and see what happens. He's gonna be in for a rude awakening. She's gonna curse him out probably, call him shallow, call him all kinds of name, every name in the book because of the fact that you know he's be he's you know to her he's being shallow based on her weight. Now, unfortunately, women are generally sensitive about their weight and. Part of it is um, it's a society it's a societal problem. A lot of um, people, especially in America, assume that you know that, that every woman uh, should be at least size zero to a two or a three. Anything above that, you know, is considered overweight. Unfortunately, all women are not born to be thin, and even I, you know, as a man, especially a black man, has accepted this fact. Okay, most women are not a size two, and if anything. There's a lot of women that are overweight, though. And the fact is, that's even more the reason why, you know, there's men out there who do have a preference for a woman based on weight. Should he be chastised for it? No. Should a woman be chastised for basing her interest on, on, on a man's height? No. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying, um, it is shallow. Because, once again... Tall men only represent 14% of the population in America. So if she's basing her um, interest on a man's height, then, you know, considering the fact that there's not a lot of tall men in America, then, yeah, it is hella shallow. It's, I mean, it's shallow either way, you know. But is it bad to be shallow? No, absolutely not, you know. Um, I just think that uh, preferences should be uh, respected. And there shouldn't be any animosity between the sexes based on height and height and weight. But anyway, I don't want to make this video too long. I will definitely make another video. So this is Edgar Brown. Uh, I am back. I will be making more videos that you guys are going to enjoy, especially MGTOW videos. So I will see you guys later. Have a blessed day.